is when you're talking to the, to the principalities and reminding the powers and telling them who you are and what's going to happen. That's when you get an attitude. We have access to God with boldness and confidence. We can go boldly to the throne of God. We can go confidently to him. But what does the devil do? He keeps bringing up your past. He keeps bringing up your failures. He keeps bringing up your shortcomings. I'm not going to God on the basis of my righteousness. Not my righteousness. I'm going on the basis of his righteousness and who he is. Welcome to Flat Out Elected. My name is Rand Campbell. I, 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 it is hot here in the Dominican. It is hot. I'm not complaining. I'm Canadian. I know what the cold is like. Make no mistake about it. But with that being said, it is hot here today. Now, with that being said, I'm going to dedicate this video to the trolls. I know, I know, right? Um, you know, there, there is a phrase used in the truth community, don't feed the trolls. But with that being said, this truth feeds everybody. So I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna feed them filet mignon. And they're certainly not gonna get any kind of a French cuisine here. But with that being said, I'm gonna feed them in this video. I'm gonna give them some truth that hopefully will pierce their trolley heart. So, so trolls are abundant in the flat earth community. Can I get an amen there? Even from the unbeliever, can I get an amen? You see, trolls come in different ranks with different purposes. You've got the, the keyboard tough guy. You know, the, the, the guy probably sitting in his mother's basement on the computer when he's allowed to be and he's got nothing better to do than to make ridiculous comments in the comment section of flat earth videos we know that guy uh, he's probably about as sharp as a balloon at the end of the day i'm guaranteeing you that guy's got minimal friends probably shakes as he walks down the street for fear that somebody figured out who he is and says nothing in public, but has a lot to say in the comment in the comment sections here in the flat Earth community. I'm going to applaud you, little guy. I'm going to applaud you. I, I think that you um, you serve a purpose you are unaware of, and the purpose that you serve is that you give a little bit of pleasure and a little bit of joy to those of us in truth, knowing that you recognize just exactly who it is that we are and what it is that we're doing because if you didn't you'd be on some gaming site complaining about how you can't get past level one ay 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 now there's there's the next level of the flat earth trolley troll and this guy thinks he has all the answers so he he's going to be constantly questioning the flat earth knowledge the flat earth model flat earth information and he's going to put up questions that have already been argued and already been dealt with but he's going to continue to put them up because he doesn't know how to research so he wants you to become his research rather than do what all flat earthers do which is actually dig deep into the pool of research to come up with the correct answer to most questions and then we have the next level of trolley troll troll trolls. I mean, this this guy, he, he's actually willing to do videos and at the same time put his face on camera. Aye, 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 right? I mean, this is the courageous troll. This is this is the troll that thinks he's got the answers and thinks that that, that he knows the truth. <laughs> I've got one of them. I've got, I got one, I, 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 I refer to them as being super trolls. And this troll has asked me a question recently in respects to how come we see the top of the sun coming up at a sunrise if we're on a flat earth rather than... <laughs> he doesn't understand perspective. 
He doesn't understand the model at all. And so he thinks he's answered the final question. He, he thinks that YouTube Jeopardy is going to give him an award. And quite possibly, he may be getting a phone call over the next couple of two, three weeks where he's going to be receiving the Nobel Prize. And he, he, he thinks that, that Neil deGrasse Tyson may even be there to hand it to him. Uh, because, of course, you know, Neil deGrasse Tyson being a, a, a scientist, being an astrophysicist, he never thought of this. <laughs> This trolley troll, this super troll of mine, I think he goes by the name Thicky, Thick Thick or something. Anyway, Thicky, I think it is. He's Chinese. He's got a, uh, he's been on YouTube for a lot of years. He likes to harass Christians. And he used to harass atheists, but now he's trying to buddy up with them and be all friendly with them. Uh, because I think that, you know, they figured out that he wasn't really a Christian. He was just a he was trolling them under a Christian name tag, and then when they figured that out, uh, they stopped playing with him, and so he went, you know, to where his heart truly is, and started trolling Christians. And then when Flat Earth came up, he was like, "Oh, I, I, what a fantastic community to troll!" And of course, he picked me. He seems to think I'm the one, which is fine. But but like I said, there is purpose in trolling, and the purpose isn't necessarily you know, to the benefit of the troll. The, 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 the purpose, in a lot of cases, is, is for the Flat Earth community. Because what they don't realize is that they fuel the truth. That's right. They fuel the truth because the more people are offended, the more we know we're on to something. And the more that these trolls attack I call it an attack because they think it's an attack. For me, it's it's like getting into a fist fight with Pee Wee Herman. Um, they really don't stand a chance, but God bless them. Um, they certainly they certainly feel powerful on the other end of their internet connection. They they feel like they've got some strength, some power. They they feel like they're in a war a battle. And I believe that you know most of these people like this this gentleman Thicky. I, I don't think that they realize. Um, what they're up against because they've never been in a true fight. They've never been in a true battle and they've certainly never known truth You see in order to fight truth you have to have an understanding of truth Jesus Christ identified himself as the truth and the life and that nobody gets to the father but through him So I don't think they have a true understanding of what truth is and for this reason They fight against truth in a time of increased knowledge and it's interesting to me because, you know, these trolley trolls, they, they, you, you often wonder when you look at the comment section or you see that they're doing video after video or, you know, they're trying to debunk truth. Now, how you debunk truth is beyond me. I don't even know how that's possible. The only way that you can debunk truth is with a lie. And that doesn't necessarily mean that you've debunked it. What it means is that you've convinced somebody to believe a lie over truth which by no stretch of the imagination is the act of debunking. What it is, is the repeating of lies. And as we well know, most of today's world has no idea that they are unwittingly repeating lies and holding to these lies under the name tag of truth. And the more you wake up, the more you realize the world that we live in and that it is greatly deceived exactly as scripture has explained. Uh, the more that you realize that most of these trolls and these people, they simply don't know. They simply do not know the truth. But, but what's also apparent is that they simply have no desire to know the truth because the indoctrination has imprisoned them so deeply that they can't even conceive nor can they achieve true understanding of the world they live in. And so, of course, you know, this Internet being the wonderful thing that it is, it allows them a, a platform to bow up their chests and, and, and type a few words or put up a few videos or, you know, question truth as though they understand truth. <laughs> aye, aye, aye. So, so I'm just dedicating this video to the trolley trolls and letting you guys know, look at 
I don't want you to stop trolling me. I have no interest in you going away. Because you do serve a purpose to the truth. No differently than, than when Jesus Christ said that, you know, somebody here will betray me. Right? When somebody says that, that somebody's going to betray you, that's a truth when you know that somebody's going to betray you. And trolling is just a betraying of truth. So, so when, when Judas betrayed Jesus Christ, there was great purpose in that. He had to. That, that was a part of Christ making it to that cross. And so when I say that you have, have purpose in trolling, there is a purpose to your trolling. God is allowing your trolling in order to advance this truth. I know for you, you're like, I, I not just kind of sent your mind down a one-way street full of rickshaws. But, but the truth of the matter is, is that, you know, you can maneuver your way through this and, and at some level maybe drop your ego and come to the truth and understand that you are purposeful in this truth. And we thank you. And, and I'm very grateful that you exist and I'm very grateful that you troll my channel. And I'm even more grateful that you take the time out of your day to promote this truth by trying to debunk it without understanding or having any knowledge of it. Because what you're doing is you're going to get somebody, you're going to invoke in somebody the desire and the inspiration to go and seek this truth, unlike you have. And if they do, they're going to come out the other end knowing that when God said, this earth takes shape like a seal and clay, that that doesn't mean that, oh, God just, you know, that was just him showing how important the earth is. <laughs> Because he couldn't say the earth is important. He had to make up some kind of a phrase that absolutely has zero connection to what you think it means. As a matter of fact, when God says the earth takes shape like a seal in clay, that's exactly what he meant. God is not a, 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 a God of confusion. Shape is a pretty simple word. It's, it's, it's easy English. If I say that, oh, my son drew, is drawing a picture and is taking the shape of an apple, it doesn't mean that he's, <laughs> that he's saying that, that, that his drawing is of great importance. No, no, if you look at the picture, it's probably going to look pretty similar to an apple. So, so when God says the earth takes shape like a seal in clay, I can promise you what he's telling you is that if you look at what the shape of a seal in clay looks like, that he is describing how the earth looks. It's not rocket science. You go ahead and let that sink in. I know you're gonna have to repeat it a few times. But listen, I'm giving you this message out of love to all you trolls, to the lower leg trolls at the bottom that simply, you know, have that tough guy troll heart where they're on the internet and they're just typing away ridiculous comments to the troll that's trying to question truth without even investigating it or researching the fact that most of your questions have already been answered. All the way to the top trolls, the super troll trolls, um, that actually think doing a video makes them important or makes them significant to a truth they don't understand. Okay, so God bless you guys. I hope you guys have a wonderful day. I'm going to go down to the beach and cool off. It's extremely hot here today in the Dominican. I ask that God bless this video. Bless you guys. You guys take care of yourselves.